Uh, in today's video, I will be showing you how to translate a WordPress plugin. Um, it's pretty much the same as translating a WordPress theme. Um, there's just one small little detail that you have to keep in mind. Um, it's pretty much just a, it's just pretty much just a file naming convention. Um, but if you've already watched my other video on how to translate a WordPress theme, uh, most of the steps in this video are going to be are pretty much going to be the same. Um, again, it's just that one small little uh, that one small little detail that you have to keep in mind uh, when you're uh, saving the file. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to get started. Um, so I'm already logged into WordPress. The plugin that we're going to be working with in this video is uh, Premium PayPal Manager, which is a plugin that I developed for my company MicroThemes. Um, so I'm just going to be translating a couple of strings un under the PayPal settings page. So uh, I'm just going to be translating these um, these first couple of uh, entries in here, uh, which are just some of the options for Premium PayPal Manager. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to access your uh, your FTP, right? You're going to want to access your server, and you're going to want to locate um, the, the the folder of your plugin, right? So in this case, I'm already logged into my uh, into my server. Uh, I'm just going to go up a level here, so you can see that I found the Premium PayPal Manager plugin, which is under the plugins folder. You can see the full file path here, right? All right, so here we have Premium PayPal Manager. I'm just going to go into the folder. Now I'm going to go into the Languages folder, right, which resides in the root folder of the plugin. And all plugins should have uh, pr should pretty much have a similar structure um, to what you see here. Um, there should always be a Languages folder located within the root folder of the plugin. Um, same goes for if you're translating a WordPress theme. So this is pretty much the same as uh, you know the same step as translating a WordPress theme. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to locate the languages folder, uh, which is which resides in the root folder of the plugin, and which within this folder there's usually a uh, translation catalog file. So just give me a second here while my server reconnects. <clears throat> Okay, so we just reconnected. So now we're in the languages folder, and you're going to see here that there's a .pot file, and the uh, the name of that file is is uh, pm localization. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to download this folder anywhere to your to your computer. Um, in this case, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it to my desktop, which is right here. And after you've downloaded the file, you just want to simply double click on the file, right? So pm location localization. Uh, you just want to double click on it. It's going to load it up with PO Edit. Um, if you don't have PO Edit, I believe you can just go to poedit.com and download the software. Uh, they do have a free version of it, so um, that should be good enough to suit your needs. Uh, so after we open up the file, we're going to want to create a new translation. You'll see at the, along the bottom here of the file, it says create new translation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press create new translation and I'm going to assign it um, the French language for uh, for the purpose of this video uh, we're going to be working with the language French uh, so I'm just going to press OK and you'll see now that the translation um, editor field has now become available to me so I can now go ahead and start uh, inserting translations so I'm going to quickly translate a couple of fields here. I'm going to translate PayPal email address. So I've already gone ahead and grabbed some of the translations online. So I'm going to paste that in there. Uh, I'm going to translate PayPal currency. Uh, which one is I think it's this one. And the other ones I want to translate are currency symbol, sales tax amount. So currency symbol right there. Okay, and you can see here that the uh, translations show up next to the uh, to the English counterpart, right? And the last one I want to translate is sales tax amount. So sales tax amount. Uh, a quick way to find strings within PO Edit is to press Control F if you're on Windows. And uh, that field we're searching for is sales tax amount. And you can quickly find a string just like that. Right there, sales tax amount. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to translate those four strings for the sake of this demo. I'm going to press the save button. Right. So it's going to just save it back on my desktop. 
Um, now, this is uh, this is uh, the the one small little detail you have to keep in mind when you're saving your language file for a plugin. Um, by default, PO Edit will only add the la the uh, the language code to the file name, but you actually have to append the actual um, the actual text domain string to the file name. So in this case, it's PM localization. Let me just copy this. So this is how you want to save your file. You want to save it like this, right? So you want to use the actual uh, text domain of the plugin, right? This is going to precede the language code, right? So it's PM localization followed by a dash and then followed by the language code. So that's how you have to save um, your file name. Now, if you're working with another plugin, um, you know, like Contact Form 7 or something like that, you know, the file name could be like, you know, something like contact form seven, right? Depending on what the text domain is, it could it could end up looking something like that. Um, so that's just to give you an idea of uh, you know of how, of how you would go about translating another plugin. Um, but in this case, uh, we're our text domain is PM localization. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to open go to my desktop. And you'll see here that PO Edit automatically created two files. It created a .po file and a .ml file. So what you want to do with these two files is, is you want to upload them to the languages folder on your server. So I'm going to jump back to FileZilla here. And I'm going to grab these two files and I'm going to upload them back into the languages folder. Okay, so you'll see now that the languages folder of our plugin is now populated with the .mo and .po, uh, file, with .po and .mo files. So these two files are going to be loaded by WordPress once we uh, once we switch the language to French. So I'm going to jump into WordPress now. Right. So currently, uh, WordPress is currently running in English. So I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to General. I'm going to switch the language to French. I'm going to press Save Changes. Okay. So now you'll see here that it has been translated to French. So I'm going to go back to the PayPal settings page. And there you have it. So you'll see now that these four first strings have been translated into French, right? And the rest of these are still in English because we haven't added translations for them. But um, this is this just goes to show you that our translation file is being loaded for our plugin. And uh, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, it's not a difficult process. Um, like, again, like I said, that the only small little detail you have to keep in mind is that you have to append your file name with the text domain string that uh, that was assigned to your plugin. Um, so usually, when uh, you know, usually when a plugin author saves their language file, they usually include uh, that that text domain string um, within the file name of their of their language file. Um, if they don't, then you're going to have to inquire with the uh, with the plug with the uh, with the author of the plugin and ask them what the text domain is, because um, that needs to be appended to the file name uh, of your plugin uh, in order for WordPress to uh, to load that file correctly. Uh, and the reason why uh, plugins require the text domain within the file name is because uh, if you have like 10 or 20 plugins installed on your um, on your WordPress installation. Um, Word, WordPress needs to be able to identify each plugin in a unique manner, right? So it needs to know that, uh, you know, that Premium PayPal Manager is loading PM location, you know, PM localization dash uh, FR underscore FR, right? Um, so it needs to match the text domain of that plugin with the text domain uh, in the file name, right? So it doesn't uh, so it doesn't conflict with any other plugins that you might have installed. Um, and that's it. That's that's pretty much all there is to it to uh, to translating a WordPress plugin. And uh, it's pretty easy. You know, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave a, you can leave a comment down below, um, or you can go to microthemes.ca. If you have a microthemes account, um, you can post your questions on our support forums, um, or you can email us directly at uh, support@microthemes.ca. And that's it. Thanks for watching.